Hey, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Today we're going to be casting Lufa Plant on Dunkin' Junk Live. So let's get to casting. Fix this up. Let's see, it's, it takes that color on pretty well. But it's basically just translucent at this point, completely transparent, just colored. Now, once you start adding the powder, that will change a little bit. You'll get um, you'll get a little more body to it, and you'll get some kind of shimmery looks to it. And it looks more like a hard candy or something like that. Or, you know, it's still pretty translucent, you know, it's not going to make it opaque, uh, especially when it's thinned out a little bit, but it does pretty well. Yeah, I actually have the pumps on my Alumilite Clear bottles, for, uh, Brad. Um, I have some, I just forgot to put them on for this slow set stuff. Um, but yeah, they make they make things a lot easier. Now, I don't use the pumps on Alumilite White because the, the Part B is so thin that it just squirts out like jet. So, here's the blue. The blue dye is a little bit of a darker, you know, it, it really kind of darkens things up. The orange is a little bit lighter color. All right, and then we will add some of this blue. And you can get real crazy with this. If you add a lot of this stuff, it'll really kind of, won't. like I said, it won't make it completely opaque or anything like that, but you'll get, you know, a lot thicker. Uh, you're, you're basically adding a lot more particles uh, densely, and so it'll be pretty opaque, but still translucent, obviously, when you're getting this kind of reflection off of it. So, what I'm going to do now, I don't want to pour the resin on top of this stuff. That's that's going to lead to uh, trapped air, and uh, we don't want that. So, I'm going to pour this in first. I'm going to do a couple little, you know, pour a little bit, add some swirls of the next one. And then I'm going to go back to the first one. And that should give it a good kind of mixture. Now, again, we have 12 minutes of open time with this. One way to make sure that you keep your colors separated is to kind of wait until right before it's going to want to, uh, the resin's going to want to harden. Uh, it'll kind of thicken up. Uh, you'll feel it's getting warm in the cup. And so I actually didn't really do that with these. These are, you know, kind of blending together, but I think it's going to look kind of cool. So, uh, and, you know, if I wasn't doing something live, I might think about doing different things. I'm, I don't want it to harden. I'd rather just get it in the, the, the mold so that we get good results. Uh, but I think you guys should be able to see this. Um, so I'm just going to push it in now. This stuff is probably going to want to tend to float, I would imagine. Uh, but you don't have as much, you don't run as much risk of trapping air if you push something that's kind of like this down into the, the resin because the air is going to just be forced kind of up. Um, if you pour resin on top of this type of thing, you can trap pockets of air which is a nightmare, and, and you basically just have voids in your blank. So, it's actually not really floating. So, there's that. We'll probably have a little bit of extra stuff to, that we can use in other castings, but I think that's a good amount of resin. And we are gonna pop it in the pressure pot. There we go.
right, so overall Lufa turned out to be a pretty good material to cast with. Now it turned well, it cast well. Uh, I think next time what I would do to improve the look of it uh, is cut it into smaller pieces. I, I think that was one of the problems. This internal structure has, you know, some pretty big voids, let's say. And I think if you cut it into smaller pieces and got a lot more packed into that mold, you'd get some pretty interesting effects throughout the pen. Uh, on the, the white and the dyed red one, there was only a little bit on the top, and it's because I, I only got, you know, a certain amount of the loofah. But uh, pretty cool material. So I just want to thank Carl for sending me some of this to try it out. And uh, definitely give it a shot if you, you know, can get your hands on this stuff. Uh, I think it can be very useful, especially, you know, you dye it and you can get some pretty cool colors. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. I'm out there on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'm posting stuff that I'm working on in the shop daily and weekly. I'm also doing live broadcasts on Twitch, obviously. Um, Dunk and Junk Live. So uh, if you want to catch those live, get a little bit of input and uh, kind of follow along as I go through the process of this stuff, definitely check that out over at twitch.tv slash envywoodworks. I do live broadcast Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. So until next time, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.